CataractCoach.com. Quiz, what is hidden in this picture? Look carefully. You can see it. It's not easy. Let me show you this case. Routine case. Everything went great. There's a round rexus. We're putting in some viscoelastic to fill the capsule bag. Whoa, what is that? Did you see it? That's the large nuclear fragment that was totally hidden. Watch this. Here, I'm going to show you the complete nucleus removal. And you tell me, when do you think you see that nuclear piece being pushed towards the angle? So we chopped it in half. That looks fine. We're emulsifying the first half of the nucleus pretty easily. There it goes, coming up nice and clean, nice and easy. So far, so good, right? Okay, one half is out here. The second half, bringing it up. Nice and easy, teasing it up, trying to get it out of the capsule bag. Let's try again with vacuum. There it is. Chopper goes around. Can chop a piece off. There we go. Emulsifying it. Nice and easy. And taking out the last couple of pieces here. And they're all ready. Did you see that? The one piece got pushed in that angle. It's subtle. If you don't watch so carefully, you don't even realize it. And a patient with a blue iris like this... That cataract nuclear piece kind of hides. So it's still hiding there right now. There it is to the right of the main incision. We'll do our cortex removal. And I try to get it out a little bit and really not getting much success with using the IA probe here. So trying to get that piece out doesn't come out. Don't be fooled into thinking that it's fine now. It's still there. It's just wedged in the angle of the eye. And because of all the dispersive viscoelastic, it's being held there. So we'll clean up the cortex, and then we'll get that piece out. But it's important that you as a surgeon, you're paying attention to the whole case. You're really watching carefully. Personally, I'm not listening to music, and I'm not talking to anyone else. I am focused on the task at hand, and I need to get this surgery done beautifully and keep track of everything. As I keep breaking up the cataract with the chopper into smaller pieces, I'm keeping a mental track. Where are all the pieces? Make sure nothing is left. Similarly, doing cortex removal, especially with a smaller pupil. I want to make sure we're not going to leave any cortex behind. So as I strip the cortex 360 degrees from the capsule bag, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, make sure there's nothing left. Maybe I didn't get that one quadrant. So here at the end, when I fill the capsule bag with our cohesive viscoelastic, we'll inject a little bit more, filling the bag, and now I'll use some to push that nuclear piece out of the angle and put it in front. There it is. Now, clearly, if you had left this in the eye, it would cause so much inflammation, you'd have to return to the operating room. So it's important to get this out on the day of surgery, at the time of surgery. Here comes our single piece acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. We'll rotate that around, get the haptics in there. Again, we still have that nuclear piece in the anterior chamber. We've pushed it towards the center with that cohesive viscoelastic. Once I get this lens unfolded, we can try to just dial out or push that piece of nucleus out of the main incision, or we can simply use the IA probe and aspirate it. Either one's appropriate. But important that we don't leave behind these um, retained lens fragments. They can cause a lot of inflammation in the post-op period. And it's much easier to do this, aspirate it down, use the spatula here to mush it in the port, and get rid of the whole thing. And then be careful, when you saw the one piece, let's just make sure there's nothing else hiding as well. Most common case when you see this, in the blue iris, the piece tends to hide a little bit more, a little bit less so with the brown iris, there's more contrast. Small pupil cases, shallow anterior chambers. If you break the cataract into more pieces with the chopper, if you're chopping it up into many, many small pieces, you got to be careful and look out for that. End of the case, this was great. We'll let go of that iris, a little inadvertent grab. And we see a nice overlap of the optic by the rexus. That's a beautiful case. This patient had a beautiful outcome on post-op day one. Thank you for watching. Check out cataractcoach.com. Much more material than just the YouTube channel. Sign up for a free email list. I'll send you the day's video directly to your inbox. All you got to do is learn.